The violence began early Saturday. A massive barrage of Hamas rockets fired into Israel. The highly coordinated attack catching Israel off guard. This music festival turning to panic. Jennifer Damte's 22-year-old daughter Kim was at that festival. Now she's missing. Kim didn't realize that there was like seven or eight Toyota vans full of terrorists and they just shot everywhere. They just shot them, slaughtered them like ducks. The Israeli Rescue Service says more than 260 bodies were recovered at the scene. Videos show Palestinian militants taking Israeli hostages near the border with Gaza, including young children and the elderly. The government says as many as 100 people have been kidnapped. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declaring, we are embarking on a long and difficult war that was forced upon us. ABC's Ian Pinnell is in Israel. I don't know if you just heard that. That's the sound of a mortar coming in from Gaza. This is being fired by Hamas militants while Israelis are trying to deal with Hamas, not just across in Gaza, but also here still inside Israel, where they're trying to clear villages where the militants are holding on. Speculation growing over Iran's possible involvement. Hamas wouldn't be Hamas without the support that it's gotten over many years from Iran. We haven't yet seen direct evidence that Iran was behind this particular attack or involved, but the, the support over many years is clear. President Biden pledging U.S. support for Israel. A U.S. carrier strike group is on its way to the Middle East. The Pentagon sending weapons and ammunition, also moving U.S. warships and fighter jets to the region. The FBI and Department of Homeland Security say there are no specific threats in the United States, but police across the country are deploying to synagogues and mosques, Israeli and Palestinian government and cultural locations, and other potential targets. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.